it was about a year and a half ago. Um, I had um, cysts in my ovaries and fibroids in my uterus. Um, they had said that I needed a hysterectomy. I had been hemorrhaging for 30 straight days. I was extremely weak. I mean, I was bleeding immensely. And um, I, they put me on some medication to kind of slow the bleeding so that they could do a uh, hysterectomy. And the medication caused me to have a mini stroke. Um, so they were, they said I wasn't strong enough to make it through surgery and I was sent home. And um, that must have been a miracle. Well, Thank God for that, right? Yes, that, now that is a miracle that I was sent home um, because um, when, I, when they sent me home, I had to find a solution because the doctors couldn't help me anymore. Did you go home and pray? I did. Then did you Google something? I Googled and, and I found, found somebody. I found, I, love it. I found your videos. I prayed and I found your videos. I cannot yes. tell you how many times <laughs> I have heard this. I prayed and found your videos. That I is love true. It. And um, so I started juicing and I went on a 30 day, 30 day juice feast doing basically the mean green recipe, green juice, mm -hmm. for 30 straight days. Low glycemic. Mm hmm. A blood um, builder. Yes. Yeah. On the third day of my um, juice feast, I was in excruciating pain. Good. Okay, excruciating pain. But I knew that it was healing my body. There was just something that told me I had Vicodin that they had given me a prescription, but I refused to take it because I knew it would hinder the healing. Um, the fibroids actually just started falling out. Um, that whole day, I was just in excruciating pain. The next morning I woke up and my bleeding had stopped and it's never come back. Did you get to see fibroids? Yeah, they were just falling out. I mean, it was... That is so freaky and cool. It was, it was, <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Um, so after about 30 days or three weeks to four weeks before I was done with my juice fast, I did go back to the doctor. Um, they did more testing. They, because I told them the bleeding stopped and so they were still wanting you know they were hoping that I'd get strong enough to do surgery well when they did the ultrasounds the cysts were gone the fibroids were gone and there was nothing wrong with my uterus did they ask you what you did they didn't no. good because then it was oh my god <laughs> weird lady no they didn't um but around the same time my daughter who's extremely asthmatic she'd been in and the ho in and out of the hospital many times oh was she a dairy consumer six she years old was. she was six, six years old she was lots six of dairy years old. and um, there was one day she wasn't sick um, I took her to a cookie booth because she was a girl scout and her heart stopped and as I stood there and she with no life in her I mean I'm screaming call 911 um, I'm asking someone to do CPR or something, like help me. And I was completely freaked out and I, you know, was just begging God, give her back to me, please. And I'll, I'll, you know, make sure that I can find something to heal her. And so I went home and I started Googling um, juicing with asthma or raw food and asthma. And I found, I found um, that it could possibly heal. So I changed her to 100% raw for 30 days and um, your videos help me do that because it, I can eat whatever you know I'm grown I know it might not taste the best or it's not what I'm used to but for a kid they have to want it you know mm -hmm. to really go through it and my daughter went through 30 days 100% um, raw and juicing and she has not had a seizure since. She's been off all her medicine. Her lung specialist said her lungs are perfect. She, it's been over a year and she hasn't even had one asthma attack. Yeah. She, her, her oxygen's been at 99% no matter what. We haven't yet had a cold this year and we're, we're now 100% raw. The kids are all, we have six kids and they're all 100% they're raw now. Um, thanks to your videos. I watch so many of your videos. I mean, they are really, during my juice feast, I watch life regenerator videos every day. Awesome. I mean, I was constantly searching. I said, I need to know what to do after. I knew that after my juice feast, I couldn't just go back to sad foods. So I had to find a solution. 
and that's your videos helped me. They changed. They changed my life. I, I really believe that they helped to save my life and my daughter's life. I really believe that. Raw food. Raw food. Yeah. Raw food. For the win, baby. Yeah. So how's the rest of the family? How about you, bro? Oh, really good. Uh, you know, not, not to mention the health benefits. Um, but I was at 226. I lost 70 pounds, so sit at 156. How long have you been doing rock? One year. Okay. Uh, uh, 13 so months. pounds in one year. I Actually, lost 100. A couple of lives <gasps> saved. Yes. Wow. You lost 100. 100. See, I, this, I did, I, this is, I, I mean, we just met five <laughs> minutes ago. And so that's a, that's a cool video. I mean, that's like, wow, I did not and, know and that. And now, and now I'm pregnant. 100 yeah. pounds. And now you're pregnant, and, and a woman that should have had everything cut out and right. removed, and that's the way the doctors do it, and that's why we make videos like this, because I say, do not cut out your vital organs and right. glands, because the doctors have no clue. I'm sorry, there's good medical doctors, and I'm not a medical doctor. Don't cut it out, clean it out. I just want to say that, because yes. there might be one more person out there watching this, and I want that one person to save their gallbladder, to keep their thyroid, yes. to keep their... I don't even think they cut out adrenals. That'd be stupid, but people cut out their kidneys. Right. And, and they're cutting out these things that God put in there for a reason. Right. Right. And we just keep them, clean them out, detoxifying them with raw food.